When you pick up your camera and want to begin filming, there are key shots you need to get and understand. You can work them into your shot list and are necessary for any production, whether it be a 30 second spot or a major production. So before showing you how we get these, you need to understand what they are. The master shot establishes the scene, usually a wide angle shot. A cutaway fills a gap in the story, while a point of view takes the subject's perspective. Reveals takes the audience into a scene. While tracking allows you to move the camera. In a static shot, action occurs while the camera remains in the same place. You can allow the subject to move through the frame or the subject can address the camera. The transitional shot takes the viewer from one sequence of the story to the next. Any shot you record, you want to try and get three to four extra seconds, so when you go to edit, you have time for your transitions. This is called a handle, and is extra footage at the beginning and end of your clip. Also, when composing scenes, you need to be aware of the rule of thirds. We try and avoid putting something directly into the center of the frame because it is not pleasing to the eye. With video, you need to apply this rule with regards to motion and action too. There are some exceptions to this, like if the subject is playing to the camera. When you go to the editing room, you will be very frustrated if your shots just suddenly appear in the center of the frame. You need to frame your subject going left to right, right to left, entering and exiting. All of these will become important when you try and put the puzzle together at the computer. Another important dimension of the composition of your shots includes always thinking about the foreground and the background. In addition, buoyancy plays a key role because when there is sand, silt, or sediment, one whoosh of your hand or your fin can kick up a tremendous amount of particles. With the particles now in the water column, your scenes will look terrible. That is why you want to always be streamlined and have excellent buoyancy you can gracefully lift off a sandy or silty bottom if you practice. The backgrounds are very important when composing your scenes. Do you want a blue water background, a reef? What is it that you want your viewers to see? Backgrounds can be very distracting or they can make the shot. Also, the wrong foreground can be distracting to your subject. You want to avoid being far away and zooming in. You need to be able to get close to your subjects and put your subjects in the foreground. When shooting wide angle, you want to combine the rule of thirds with foreground and background subjects. In very basic terms, wide, medium, and close-up shots edited together make a sequence. The wide shot sets the scene and draws the viewer into the story. The medium shot introduces the subjects and the close-ups make the viewer focus in on something of importance. You need a wide variety of these types of shots to tell your story visually. You also need to move the camera around and give the viewer different angles. This also helps when you finally sit down to edit. You can take advantage of the standard shots, such as medium wide shots, medium close up, and extreme close up shots. Again, a variety helps when you sit down at the computer. Choosing from different cutaways and transitional shots makes it easier for you to take the viewer from one sequence to the next. So, quick review. You need an establishing master shot, usually a wide angle, and a variety of medium and close-ups used as cutaways and transitional shots filling gaps while moving your story from one sequence to the next. To understand this concept, start paying attention to the visual cues all around you. Watch your favorite movie. Watch it again, and this time, pay attention to what is happening on the screen from a director's point of view. Study it. Try turning off the sound. What is happening on screen? Watch just one scene. How many different shots make that one scene? Your sequences need to consist of a variety of angles you string together to tell a story visually. This makes it coherent for your audience to watch.